The domain is a high density retail office and residential center in Northwest Austin, not far from where I live. Now, Austin is a huge dog community. Well, okay, not a community of huge dogs, but the dogs are very popular here. So weekend before last, they had an event at the domain called Dogtoberfest. It's benefiting local rescue organizations. So at this event, they have vendor booths, um, they've got a silent auction, a canine costume contest, the always popular weenie dog races, and the Austin Canine Unit came out and did a demonstration. My wife and I go every year with friends and uh, it's a good time. I was just trying to figure out how to get the guy in the bite suit in here. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. In this video, I'm going to sequence a song on camera, or at least I'm going to try to. Now, to keep it from being a month-long video, I'm going to break it up into chunks. Um, I know many of you have Halloween displays and you're probably putting the final touches on those. If you still have to sequence a song, this video probably the one you want to watch because I'll show you how to get one done pretty quickly. Now, Sean has posted a video uh, on Vimeo that completely goes through X lights. And so that is not the purpose of this video. Um, but he takes you from A to Z and he explains all the history behind it and everything and it's a very good video If you can check it out, I suggest you do that if you're new to X lights um, and I'll link that below Okay, so let's start with bringing up X lights All right, so let's create a new sequence musical sequence I'm going to do this song Christmas and you because I like it it's kind of mellow it'll slow things down from the crazy songs that I have that that this will be in and we'll do quick start uh, so today we are just going to do the whole house model so I will move that up to the top I'll, I usually move it up there anyway so it's this first row here now the first thing you need to do is create a timing track. And that's what this thing is here. There's a couple of ways you can do that, but the timing track is very important. It will make the rest of your work much easier if you spend a little bit of time on this initially and get it right. The way you do this is come up here to the timeline, click it and hit the letter T on your keyboard. And all I'm doing is just hitting it where it looks like the music is changing. Now you want to do these about every five seconds or so. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and I'm just going through and doing this. Now, you, you can come in after the fact and move these around to make them even more accurate. And I suggest you do that. But I'm just going to go through real quick and do this. If you have no musical aptitude at all, just put one every five or 10 seconds. So, I mean, you know, 14, 15, 15 to 20, so you could just put one there. Uh, mine doesn't scroll too well, so put one there, 30. So you could do that too, and that would be fine. If you are a little more musically inclined or if you kind of follow these waveforms, uh, yeah, you can put one right there. Might put one there. Might put one there. Move it over a little bit. So you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Um, oh, the other thing is you can actually just play the song and, and tap the T while, you're, while it's playing. So we will do that. Oh, my God. 
All right, so now we have all of our timing marks. So let's back out all the way. And you can see we've created a few timing marks. Now what I would suggest you do is actually zoom into this and go through and play the song again and make sure that these timing marks are right. I like to so yeah, maybe move it back. I like to think about the night. Okay, that's about right. And I'm not going to go through this right now. About that, babe. Okay, but you get the idea. Make sure the timing marks um, hit a piece of music that sounds right. If you're just doing every five to ten seconds, don't worry about it. You know, you're you're done with the timing marks. So now that we have the timing marks, everything else is a little easier to deal with. Let's see. So. If you need to <laughs> if you need to create a quick show or a if you need to create sequence your song very quickly select the whole house model the whole house model is just a group that I created and most people will do this that has all of your models in it all of your lights are in the whole house model so when you drag something to the whole house model it affects your whole house that's why it's called the whole house model cool huh so select the whole house model row right click on it and just to create random effects now what this does is it goes through all of these different effects chooses one at random and then it randomizes the values for that effect so it may look great it may look horrible you, you just have to go through now you know it, it puts all these in there and that's why i say every five to ten seconds you don't want these things changing too quickly because it'll just freak people out and you don't want to do that either that's that's not what we're looking for just go through here and play it see what it looks like I like to think about the night long ago when the son of God was born and Mary and Joe I have to smile when I think about that baby boy and what he came to earth to do for me so you can see it's going to pick things that look great. It's going to look pick things that don't look so great. So you can go through here now. You have your show. But now you can go through here and adjust things. So this is lightning. Um, this is really good kind of as a background effect. It's not so good on the whole house model. Um, you know, everybody's favorite is the butterfly. So we'll do the butterfly for the very first part here. And then this one was also kind of weird. It's snowflakes. So snowflakes looks good, but it also looks with all the colors that it picked here. That's probably why you can't see it. So now we turn up the. Uh, now you can get a little bit, see a little bit more of what's going on. So let's try this now. I like to think about the night long ago when the son of God was born and Mary and Joe. I have to smile. And then you can also go in here and choose per preview. Uh, single line. Yeah, I don't like that one. Or you can do per model preview. It looks a little better. I'm going to go with that. I like to think about the night long ago when the son of God was born to Mary and Joe. I have to smile when I think about that baby boy and what he came to earth to do okay so that's it that is you know you go through the whole song and within maybe an hour or two you can have a song fully sequenced now i know a lot of you are doing displays for halloween uh i hope you are done sequencing because it's you know you don't have much time but this is a quick way to get a song done if you are running late it may not be the best looking thing, but it's sequenced, it's lights are flashing, your audience will enjoy it. So you've seen how I make the adjustments, how I move things around a little bit, and so now what I'm going to do is go through this, make all the changes that I would make if I was sequencing this for real, because, you know, I am, and, and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so now I'm going to go through there. 
I'm going to undo all this stuff. Can I undo it? Okay. Um, so now I'm going to actually go back and make sure that these timing marks are in the right place that I want them. Now there's another thing you can do. You can actually, um, like if, oh, I really needed one there, you can add it in. Uh, or I didn't really want that one, you can click it and hit delete. Now you probably want to join these back up again. Sorry for the barking dog. Um, so I'm going to go through here and adjust this, make sure the timing is correct, and then I'm going to run another, um, uh, have it generate a random sequence, and then I'm going to adjust that, and then I'll show you the final product. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. I changed most of the sliders. I changed a couple of the effects out, and I changed uh, several of the colors, not all of them but it was very quick so if you are still sequencing for halloween you've got about 24 hours uh, this technique might help you out a little bit so that's about it for this week uh, stay tuned i'll show you the sequence right after this but thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon i like to think about the night long ago when the son of god was born in mary and joe i have to smile when i think about that baby boy And what he came to earth to do for me He took away my sin and he set me free And now I just want to celebrate it with you Oh, oh, oh I love the lights, I love the snow And I never want to let you go When we're standing under the mistletoe As the excitement almost drives him wild I just can't wait to tear into all those brand new toys And if you listen really close, you will hear The sound of caroling somewhere near And you can't help but wish the night would never end Oh, oh, oh I love the snow And I never want to let you go